Dear students, now we are going to see the solidification time. Now students, we know that the riser is provided into the casting system to have the compensation for whatever the shrinkage are taking place in first two stages, isn't it? We know that. So now it is very important to see that whether the riser is going to solidify before or after the casting. So that is the reason why it is very important to understand the solidification time for that particular casting. So now we are going to see the solidification and in this we are going to understand about the solidification time and the equation that we are going to derive is known as the Vorino's equation or the Vorino's rule. Now students we know that the material is cooling from the pouring temperature to the room temperature. In that we are having very first the sensible heat loss in the liquid stage then material coming to the melting point or freezing point it is in liquid and then there is a phase change but temperature will be the same that is latent heat loss there now it is coming to the solid freezing temperature and from here again there is sensible heat loss in solid state then the material is coming to the room temperature okay now if you look at the mold here when we pour the molten material in this mold see the Q that is heat lost by this liquid molten material is the mass into sensible heat plus latent heat isn't it see here the shrinkages that are going to take place in these two stages say this is stage number one and this is stage number two this is the sensible heat loss plus latent heat loss isn't it and leftover shrinkages is going to compensate it by the pattern having the allowances on that now very first see here as soon as this liquid molten metal lose the heat that is the summation of the sensible heat plus latent heat the same heat now is going to transfer through this sand mold to the atmosphere isn't it so from all the faces of the molding or mold cavity the heat is going to transfer to the surrounding isn't it so if in the first stage i write like this that is heat loss by the liquid molten material when it is poured into the mold cavity it is mass into sensible heat plus latent heat now the same amount of heat is going to transfer from this mold interface or via this uh, mold made up of sand to the surrounding then if I want to write the heat transfer equation for this heat transfer from the interface of the mold or through the sand mold so this heat transfer is taking place with the rule of the heat conduction that is heat conduction with infinite wall thickness that is heat transfer is uh, takes place according to rule that is heat transfer in the conduction with the infinite wall thickness now here this heat transfer or this heat transfer rate rather we can write it as for what the conduction heat transfer is because of heat transfer due to conduction with infinite wall thickness from where to where freezing temperature to room temperature tf minus tr divided by root of pi alpha tau 
okay so actually this is the rate of heat transfer now here see where k is the thermal conductivity of this mold material a is the surface area of the mold interface which is nothing but the surface area of the casting so here i can denote as a s which is surface area of the mold interface is nothing but the casting surface area this is a temperature difference from freezing temperature to room temperature divided by this alpha is what the thermal diffusivity of mold material and tau is the time tau is the time now at an instant of time the total heat flow or heat transfer is taking place through this mold interface can be calculated by integrating this equation from 0 to say tau naught because tau is the variable here isn't it so if i want this q for this total mold interface then it will be equal to q is equal to integral 0 to tau naught this q dot d tau wherever q tau q dot is what our it is um, integral 0 to tau naught k a into bracket t of minus t r divided by under root of pi alpha tau d tau. Now if we integrate this we will get this heat transfer for this entire mold interface. See here variable is 1 upon root tau and we know the integration of 1 upon root x is what 2 times root x. So I can write here this k a t f minus t r into root of this tau this is 2 times divided by root of pi alpha isn't it and after putting the limits because upper limit is tau naught and lower limit is 0 so it will be tau naught isn't it say the heat which I have lost by the liquid molten metal is conducted by this molding sand to the surrounding with this conduction with the infinite wall thickness and we are getting this total heat. That is same heat, this heat is going to get removed to the surrounding through the conduction from the molding sand. So definitely these two heats, say if I put this equation number 1 and this is as equation number 2, so this should be equal. So if I equate these two, what I'll get? And before that, please, we have to write for this sensible heat. How can I write? If I want to elaborate this equation, you know mass is what? The volume into density volume of which the molten material that is nothing but volume of casting said rho m is the density of molten material now sensible heat we know that is c m into from where to where p t to freezing temperature that is t p minus t f plus f if i write latent heat as a l so CM is what here? This is the specific heat for the mold material. CM is what here? CM is specific heat for the mold material. Now let us the equate we equate this equation number one and two. What we can write? Let us do that. So this is two KAS. A is surface area to T of minus T R into root of tau divided by root of pi alpha <coughs> which is equal to volume into density of molten material into 
cm the specific heat of mold into tp minus tf plus latent heat okay we are interested to find out the solidification time tau is what or the solidification time so this root tau is equal to say what this v into rho m into cm tp minus tf plus l into root of pi alpha divided by this will come here 2 kas into tf minus tf and don't forget this k is whatever thermal conductivity thermal conductivity of the mold material you can also expand this alpha term here alpha term as alpha is what thermal diffusivity how heat is penetrating or transferred through the uh, mold material which is k divided by rho times cp of mold material which is cm so again k is the thermal conductivity of mold material c is the specific heat of this mold material and rho is the density of mold material okay and here is density of what molten material please remember this so you can have that extension for alpha also now here now what is tau we are interested in tau which is solidification time is equal to i will write v square into rho m square into cp cm to bracket tp minus tf plus l into pi alpha because i am squaring because here is root i am squaring the both side divided by this is a s square into 4 times k square into tf minus tf why i am writing this because see here i am going to put this term which i am putting in box as the constant say tau is equal to the constant k into this v is the volume of casting divided by surface area of casting this square square so i will write it like this so tau is equal to this k is a constant which is also known as the solidification factor the mold constant or whatever you just uh, remember this is a constant k into volume of casting divided by surface area of casting whole square and this is the formula for the solidification time tau this rule is also known as the Voronoi's rule please remember this so this is very very important formula many times the numericals are asked in the gate examination based upon this formula please remember this very very important thank you so much